going into state this week, you're the number one seed. Let us know how the growth of your team has been going this year. It's been going really good, you know, we've been out here working hard. I know most, most teams practice like three days a week, two days a week, we get to go four, so I think that, that makes it better. A lot of these boys are getting better, you know, and it's going good, it's going good. The growth of our team is, in numbers wise, you know, it's, it's, it's major from last year to this year, you know, we get, like you said, we got two teams now and we could barely put together one last year, so the growth is major. Going into this week, what are your expectations going to the state team? My expectation is for my boys to want it, work hard, be hungry, and to win this thing. I mean, that's what the expectation is. That was the goal, to be the state champions, and here we are. You guys are seven and two going into the two losses you have in Colorado. What would you say the change from Colorado coming back into Montana has done to your team? Well, they actually got to see, per se, what happens when a team might look better. They've seen some bigger teams coming from Colorado to Montana. They've seen some bigger boys from across the ball, and they were they were able to adjust and 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 persevere, you know, because they've seen it before. And before they got to Colorado, they've never seen it before. So that's that's the biggest thing going to Colorado does for our boys is. It's like a boot camp for them. It, it gets them ready. <laughs> Let us know some players this week that you expect to step up over the weekend and going into the state playoffs and have played all around the team. Some guys that I expect to step up. I expect Ashton Bracewell to step up. I expect Tommy Guns to step up. This is his second year in the quarterback role. He's actually gotten better tremendously from 10 to 11. Uh, I expect Xavier Brackenridge to step up. I expect Lauren Cummings to step up. I expect my whole defense to step up. And I expect Reese Owens to carry us through. You guys are getting up only 24 points this year. What does that do to that you feel like your defense has been pretty stingy all season long? Well, they're they're hungry. They've been told that they're the line. At least the linebackers have been told that they were the fattest linebacker core in the league. You know, and maybe maybe the slowest. So I think that's motivated those boys. Our front five, our front six. Those 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 boys are amazing because I mean, they all they all hungry for the ball. They want to eat the ball. So it's like a race for the tackle. So that's what makes us that makes us great is our front our front five, our front six, and Hey, that, that back five or back six, you know, they step up and they fly around. Thank you. Thank you. Second year as an outlaw coach, what, what would you say is the improvement from year one to year two? Uh, I would say the progression of the quarterbacks and the running backs. I, I like I like how we progressed. Uh, we kind of lost a couple receivers, so we couldn't really progress in that area, but we're working on now, so. Going into the, uh, this week <clears> to the state playoffs, what do you feel like you guys need to do in order to bring home the state championship? Uh, discipline and execute. Uh, we've been kind of struggling on execution. Kids knowing the plays. Um, just execute. That's what we got to do. What would you say the biggest improvement of your offense has been this season from day one to now? Uh, offensive line play. Uh, I like the way we've shifted some kids around. We moved uh, centers to tackles, guards to tackles, tackles to guards. Uh, just seeing the versatility of all the linemen. Name some things you want your team to do going into your first game Saturday against Harlem. Uh, motivated. Uh, I don't want them to come in thinking that it's going to be an easy cakewalk. I want them to put in work. It starts today. Uh, just wanting them to focus on coming in motivated, and I think it's going to be a cakewalk. All right, year two as the starting quarterback, what do you feel like you've improved on this season? Um, I probably most improved with knowing which season to throw to. What would you say has been the biggest thing for your team this season? Probably our defense. What do you, what do you think you guys just need to improve on this week in practice? We need to improve on the execution, I think. 
What is your expectation of this season? I think that we can be number one in the state. Thank you. Riley, this is your first year with the 12U team. How's your experience been so far? Really good. Really good. What have you learned this season so far? Uh, I've learned how to hit a lot harder and how to catch better. Going into the state playoffs, the great team is the number one seed going into the state playoffs. How do you guys feel about that, and where do you guys think we need to improve on? Well, I think we need to improve on our um, passing game. We're good at, we can get yards when we're running, but I don't think we're, we need to work on our passing. Defensively, you guys were pretty stout for the most part all year long. What do you guys need to improve on the defensive side? Uh, I would say probably the DNs getting outside and the linebackers filling their gaps. Thank you, sir. What have you learned so far this season as leading the great team going into the state play? Um, I've learned that we need to execute plays. Our team is other than that, it's, our team is good. We just need to keep practicing so we can get better. Going into this weekend, what is your expectation going into the state play? I feel like we can beat both of the teams that we play. Your first year as an outlaw, what have you learned so far as being an outlaw football player? Uh, there's good teammates, there's good sportsmanship. This is your first year with the Outlaws. How has it been so far? Good. I don't know. I think it's better experience than other weeks because you get to travel and do other things. Tell me some things you've learned from the time you started through the time you went to Colorado and up to now. Um, don't, don't have a bad mindset before the game starts, because then you just have a bad mindset for the game. Going into this week, what would you say you guys need to improve? Wrapping up. You guys are the number one seed in the state. What is your expectation going into the state playoffs this weekend? Challenging, hopefully. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming out, watching the show. This is our Outlaw Report. We're going in the state. Come out October 14th and 15th, starting at 8.30 a.m. You can see some great football. Our young guys have done a great job this season. See you there at the state playoffs.